I have been waiting for this all day. Oh, wow. Yes. So um, you've checked us out? Yes, absolutely. I think we, we actually just did a blog post about you guys. Yeah, I've seen that. I've yeah. seen that. So I'm John. I'm Ram. Nice to meet nice you, to Ram. Meet you. Thanks for joining in. Hey, everybody, this is Ram for, from Securify. I think that's an awesome name, by the way. Which one? The okay, Securify so or Almond? Both. <laughs> but I like Securify specifically because it like makes you feel secure. <laughs> and it's got Wi-Fi, yeah. so why not? So That, that was our idea. Yeah, and I, we, already, we already did a little bit of coverage on this, but I have not seen one before. I think the concept behind this, correct me if I'm wrong, is that um, Wi-Fi routers and hotspots and things, they're not always the easiest little devices to get hooked up. And you always have to use something like a laptop to make it happen. And this is designed to solve that problem, right? That's exactly right. Uh, you know, I, I myself used to forget passwords. And there were times when I have to go through a long process you would forget the IP address, you forget a whole lot of things <laughs> yeah. after a while, and then you just wish there was an easy way to get those settings back yeah. uh, without you know, pulling your hair and you know, going on Google and trying to figure out uh, what is the IP yeah. address for yeah. a Yeah, Linksys, yeah. <laughs> default password, you know, whatever. Right, so that, that is the idea we, we started with, uh, to make routers easy for um, uh, average users because they are very intimidating products. And it's not just average users. Some of my friends, they have PhD in electrical engineering. I mean, they find routers intimidating. And yeah. you can only imagine, uh, you know. Like my mother, <laughs> forget it, right? Yeah, yeah. right, right. So. Well, um, yeah, you're right. I, I think about, for example, when we came here and we were setting all this stuff up, we have a router over there and uh, I never can remember like the IP address to get into it, and usually I have to go into my settings and see what what is the default you know route set in the settings to figure out how to get to it, and then the password's gone. But with this thing, I, I see there's a screen right on the front. So what do we do? We just plug it in and it boots up, and what happens? Well, the first time you you start it, uh, there is a wizard. Uh, Oh, let me check. There is a wizard that guides you through the setup process. Uh, it's going to ask you, uh, I'm going to go through a couple of steps, not okay. go all the way. Can you uh, see it? Okay, you guys see it. Okay, there you go. So, uh, it's it's telling you there is a stylus. If you Oh, it actually has a little stylus. Yeah, it has a stylus. Sorry. Nice. If you don't like the to, to, key size, yep. it's too small. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, you can use it as, actually, it's a dual-purpose device. At first, we started working, when we started working on it, it was just a router. But uh, later on, we realized a lot of people already have routers, but maybe they're not happy with the range. Yeah. Uh, so you can use this as a router. Have, or, or if you have, like, a big house and you, you wanted to get something new, you get two of these, for example? Yeah. Okay. Right. right. So if you don't want to change your existing router, then you just get one of these and use it as a range extender. But like, you'd use two of them yep. if you just starting from scratch. Okay. Uh, now, if you think router is difficult to set up for average users, range extender is just impossible. Impossible. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna skip the setup now. But but yeah. basically, it's gonna it if you use it as a router, it will figure out what kind of internet settings you have, uh, internet connection you have, whether it's DSL or cable, uh, and. It's, overall, it's a very simple process, probably less than a minute. Uh, I'll just show you, for example, the range extender, uh, yep, yep. how you would set it up. So you go in there, the range extender option is there on the home screen, and you see a list of available signals. So you just pick which one you want to extend. Can you, if there are more, do you scroll uh, you up and scroll, down? Right kind of now, the scrolling is not very well implemented. Okay, right. But, but you'd be able to like yeah, drag it or something. You and, can scroll. So okay. you select the network. And you put the password and enable. Done. That's, that's it. it? That's it. Wow. OK, that's impressive. Yeah. And so that's, that's how we started. We uh, announced it at CES. And uh, we'll be shipping second week of July. You'll wow. see it online, Amazon and Newegg. And what kind of price point are we looking at? Around $80. 80 bucks. Yeah. 
even with the whole touch screen with interface. The whole touch screen. We wanted it to be a little bit lower, uh, but uh, we have to uh, settle for 80 for now. That's still pretty pretty reasonable, especially right. given what it does. What kind of ports does it have on it? Uh, so it's got, this is your internet port. Okay. And then it's got two, two. LAN ports. Okay. Uh, are they 100 megabit? These are 100 megabit. Okay. These are not a gigabit. Yep. Uh, we are working but on. But for Wi-Fi hotspots and stuff right now, I mean, you, you're limited to your connection anyway. So most people aren't going to have a 100 meg connection anyway. Sure. I think it's just a few ISPs like Verizon with their FIOS. Yeah. That have very high. Yeah. Uh, that's high more speed. than. Yeah. And also, there are not a lot of clients with five gigahertz. Uh, yeah. You know, I think the iPhone 4s. It's still only 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah. No, no five gigahertz. And. And by the way, we have done something new. Uh, we were wondering because setting up a router is not something you do every day. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, you set it up and uh, you probably won't touch it for a year. Yeah, at least. At least. You hope more, yeah, but hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, right. Yeah. Uh, so we're trying to think of what else can you do uh, with the screen because it's just sitting there. True. Right? Uh, we are going to have a weather app. Oh, that'd be awesome. Because it is an internet connected uh, yeah. device. So you can leave it sitting on the desk and it's like, you know, it's 68 degrees out or whatever. And exactly. And I think we'll also have some picture. Uh, uh, a little picture so you could have your, uh, going through a little rotation, rotation of your, of your right. photos. So this, this we still need, we still got some work to do with the picture app. But uh, this is the direction we're going. I love it. Not just a router, maybe you can do more yeah. because you have a screen, so why not take advantage of it? Yeah, okay. So they're going to be coming out in July. July. That's next month. Next month, very I soon. mean, it's yeah. right around the corner. Right. Okay. And uh, 80 bucks. And we're going to give a couple of these away, aren't we? Yes. We're going to yes. do a contest. Right, right. Okay, so, but. I don't but, know what the contest is, but well, it's not. <laughs> Mark's working on it over there. So, yeah, folks, yeah. Go, you can go to uh, gplus.to forward slash geekbeat TV, and, uh, or actually geekbeat, sorry. Go to, go to our geekbeat. I, I know I corrected myself. Sorry. Sorry. Geekbeat. Just uh, find us on Google Plus, geekbeat, and uh, Mark's going to put all the details. I see him over there typing right now. He's, he's going to launch the contest. And so, but we're not going to ship them to people until they come out, right? They're not going to get like the earliest ones. Yeah, that's right. Right, right. Yeah. So in July, when these things are available, you'll get one of the first ones. And we're going to give two of them away. So that's exciting. I want one. How do I get one? That's the question, because we want to try these things out. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. Appreciate it. Well, thank I, you for your time. I think Mark or.